Okay, so question number seven. As elevation increases, how does heart rate respond to submaximal graded exercise? Why does it respond this way and why is this an important why is this important to consider for both athletes and the general population? So typically as we increase in elevation, um, so will the heart rate. The heart, the heart rate is going to increase as we increase in elevation. And this is because lower amounts of hemoglobin um, are being saturated by the blood, um, which will mean that the heart has to pump faster, it has to work harder to get oxygen to the working muscles. This is an important concept because for athletes and the general population, um, because typically you're going to want to acclimate um, to certain elevations to get your heart rate used to the work that it has to put out. So typically the more time you spend um, at a certain elevate at a high elevation, um, your heart rate will eventually begin to decrease. It'll it'll acclimate. It'll become ad it'll adapt to the uh, elevation that you're at. Um, so for athletes, it's important um, to remember that you have to acclimate you, you, um, and you're going to be, typically if you're coming right out of sea level, you're going to be out of breath and you're going to feel kind of out of shape, kind of crappy at first when um, you start working out at an altitude. For the general population, it's important because you're going to get a lot of people um, who are going to come up and be out of breath, like especially working in a national park, you see a lot of people coming up right out of sea level um, and hiking in altitude and they get sick they um, and they end up having to get rescued off the mountain. Um, that's because their hearts are pumping faster, they're going to be winded more and it can lead to a lot of problems. So it's important to realize this concept um, and just to know that you have to acclimate um, in order to uh, exert um, and be useful for exercise.